the last video, I sanded and painted the fenders, installed them on the trailer. I also painted the wheels. In this video, you can see right here where I installed the wheels on the trailer. And I installed these lights right here. They're wired through to the inside. There's amber in the front and red in the back. Also have them on the other side here. Installed also on top of the fender and they're wired in. I just have to go on the inside, sort all the wiring out, do some soldering and get all the wire situated in the walls. And then I can start installing the plywood on the walls on the inside. You can see right here the mess with all the wires I've got to sort out inside the wall. You got to figure out which wire goes where, get them all sorted up. Then I can start putting the insulation back and then the plywood on the walls. Let's get to work. I decided to build my box that holds the control switches. I built, I built to put the control switches in. You see the control switches right there is the 12 volt. Like a regular cigarette thing and that's two USB ports in there. And then it's got five switches. But I'm gonna mount this up there. And it's also, I made the top where, you know, when I wired in the wires coming through the wall, right there, they'll come through and I'm wired up. It also made the top where it'll kind of fit down on there like that. And then we plug our cell phones in, just lay them on top of there. But that's gonna mount just inside the door uh, of the camper, right inside the walk-in door. And that big mess of wires right there is what's gonna go in and tie into that box. That's what I'm gonna work on next so that I can go ahead and start finishing the walls, putting the walls up, get it ready for the ship light. But that's next, uh, working on all this, these wires. Got the wires situated, got them everywhere that they need to go. into this box right here. This box will be mounted on the wall right there. It'll be where we can plug our phones into the USB ports and then lay them on top to charge or whatever. But that'll be all the controls for every light. The water pump, the fans, everything will be ran through the switch that will be mounted right there on the wall. So now, I'm going to start finishing up the plywood tomorrow. Do the plywood tomorrow. And then uh, down there will be a little vent and switch. But we'll go ahead and finish this wall up. Then we'll start putting them on this wall and put the hose in there for a lot, uh, for receptacles, for the TV and stuff like that. I guess we'll finish this tomorrow. Okay, here we are the next day. Showed you, I had this one up, had the wires through. I've got to measure this up here. And put that one in, which has no wires on it at all. So that one should be pretty straightforward. I've already got in, set the shop up. Got the plywood I need to cut on there. Let's get some measure done, get it marked out, and get it cut. All right, there's another piece plywood up on the wall. It's just kind of got a couple screws in it to hold it up there. I'm going to finish securing it to the metal studs. That is looking good so far. Really excited to start getting plywood on the wall because of all the work that's been going on so far, this really makes it look like some progress is being made and we're really excited about it. We decided we'd take the days off and ride up into the Smokies, a place called Cade's Cove, and take y'all along for the ride. There's wild horses. Uh, there's a deer back in there. It's hard to see. There's a church from the 1800s. Um, just beautiful mountain scenery. 
There's another deer back over there. You can hardly see it. There's a wild turkey. The next one's got a bear with a cub trying to climb a tree. It's just a beautiful place. We also saw elk. There were elk everywhere. Thanks for riding along with us. Now let's get back and get back on the trailer and, and get some more done to it. Now we're going to start on this walk. First piece, I'm just measuring the length, keep it the width, and lay it on there because no receptacle is going to fall on that first piece at all. There will be two in the second one, one down here and one up there for the TV mount. I've already got, got it laying on the sawhorse. Let's get it marked out and get it cut. the first piece on that side of the wall that's up there I've got to finish screwing it on and then that one will be done now the next one is gonna have two receptacles in it so I've got to measure the, the length and width and cut it off and then cut the hose for the receptacles well, let's get let's get on it there's that one you can see a countersunk stainless steel screws to hold that thing on the wall with the metal studs all the way down because it's going to get painted white and then a ship lap is going to go over the top of that so I had to counter make sure the screws were countersunk and I will do that to all the sheetrock that is on I mean all the plywood that's on the walls. Well, it kind of made a mistake. It only gets one receptacle on the top and the bottom piece gets a receptacle. Here I'm countersinking the screw hose so that I can put those stainless steel screws in there so they don't stick out. So when we put the ship lap, they won't have little bulges in the ship lap. All right, look at here. We've got this whole side all the way to where V starts up here. So it's all screwed on. A wire coming out there for the TV. One down there for the refrigerator. One right there. It's going to be on the top of the counter for the countertop receptacles. Those are all 110 receptacles. Now, over here, the only thing that will be over in here is a 12 volt coming out around the bottom somewhere, and that'll be under the countertop for a 12 volt water pump. So let's get it measured and get the other one cut and installed. Okay, here's the final piece on that one side that goes up in there, or the final big piece. And right here, I, I cut that hole with a hole saw. That's where the 12 volt wires come out for the water pump that goes under the countertop or under the sink over there. So Let's get this one up there and see what it looks like. All right, there's the other piece already screwed in. All that's left is the little piece in the very nose. But that's that one. Up and down there with the hole I built there, and that's the 12 volt wire coming out that goes to the water pump for the shower and the sink. Decided to get this done, this much of it anyway. Okay, 
does that little piece right in the end. It's not straight across, it's just kind of weird angle on both sides over here. Instead of coming up, just making a V, it comes up and kind of rounds over. So that's the best way I can do it, but it's in there. Bolted in, or screwed in now. I'm gonna measure and cut the one for this wall. Almost finished with it, with this part of it anyway. Here's the, got this piece in the nose. Got in there, got it done. Got this big piece just about screwed in, but it goes, I don't know if you can see, but it goes up to there and makes a turn on its nose. So I had to get it to turn. It's not been so easy on this piece. But now I got it going my way, so looking good. I'll get it in there and then I'll cut that piece. One piece up beside the door and one over the top and the plywood part of it's done. And then we'll start ripping the shift lap. Well, we have to paint this. And then we'll rip the shift lap and uh, put it up. There it is, screwed in. Secure, don't move around, that thing is tight. One thing left is cut two pieces, one for there, one for there, and over the door. So three more pieces and it'll be finished. Okay, now that the plywood is on the walls and that's finished. We went ahead and where all the cracks are in here, we put wood floor filler in there to make sure all the cracks are smooth, get all smooth. And that'll be the subfloor finished. After we get done with that, I'm gonna paint the walls, start cutting and putting up the ship lock for the ceiling. Now here it is with all the plywood on the walls done all the seams, all the cracks caulked up with flexible caulk. Now what's left is I'm gonna build a wall back there. Start cutting, the sh ripping the ship lap. Start putting it across the ceiling. That'll be the next thing we do. Won't be today. It'll probably be a couple days before we can start doing that. But that'll be the very next thing to do. That's going to be it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Hope you found something in this video that might help you in your project. Thanks again, and keep moving forward.